Well, hello there. This is Bakari Shabanu with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Hey, if this is the first time that you have come to my channel, I hope that you subscribe because I post weekly videos about Mac Automation and productivity tips. In this particular video, I'm going to focus in on an application called Better Touch Tool, which enables you to do almost anything on your Mac with using finger gestures um, on your iPad or even your Magic Mouse. So let's stay tuned and get started. So let's get started. Open up the System Preferences, and when you get there, you want to go into the trackpad or the mouse if you use the mouse. I use the trackpad, so I'm going to focus in on that. So you want to go here. Now you should be familiar with these settings, but if, just in case you're not, you know you can go into the settings and you can kind of make, you know, you can choose settings for how you want to use your trackpad. So for example, so for example, you may have the secondary click. You can choose to either click or tap with two fingers, click at the bottom right corner or click at the uh, bottom left corner. I'm not sure why you would use these two, but uh, definitely you want to, uh, I use this one here, click and tap right here. And then also you can go to the uh, tap to click with uh, one finger there. You have that option. You can talk about the speed tracking. And then you can go over to um, scroll, and uh, scroll and zoom. And uh, it shows you some features there. Apple does a really good job of just giving you a short video of how you can use these gestures and get started with them. Very easy there. So if you want to rotate a picture, you can do, do that. And just think about that this is a, a, a lot easier to do rather than using keyboard shortcuts you so you don't have to do say the command r which is typically what you have to do to rotate a picture for example and then you have uh, some more gestures here in this panel and uh the uh you can have a, uh, they show you the different gestures that you can use swipe between pages you can open up notification center you can do uh the app expose here you can do launchpad um, you can show the desktop but uh, notice I don't have any of these checked in mind. And the reason why is because I use an application called Better Touch Tool. Now, what happens with Apple, Apple gives you about a couple of dozen gestures and actions that you can use. And that's fine to get started. If you've never used these, definitely check it out and get started with it. But in Better Touch Tool, what I'm about to show you, it comes with hundreds of gestures and actions that I'm going to show you uh, how I use them. I'll show you some examples of how I use them there. So let's get started with that. We're going to get rid of um, the system preferences, and I'm going to switch to uh, Better Touch Tool. Now, right now, I just used a finger gesture to pull up this application switcher. And actually, um, this application switcher is from Keyboard Maestro. And the reason why it stays open is because I have the Keyboard Maestro application switcher mapped to a finger gesture and better touch tool. And that's the reason why it stays open. If I do not use this gesture, then the, um, the, the, I would have to keep my fingers on the short keyboard shortcut in order for this application switcher to stay open, to remain open. So we're going to go to here and just I'll open up on my second, on my, on my main screen. So I'm going to drag it over here. All right. So now I would admit, I'll be the first one to admit that the Better Touch tool is not a beautiful user, user interface. It doesn't have all the little kind of, uh, uh, vid in, in internal videos to show you how to use it and that kind of thing. So up front, I'm going to tell you that I have, not only do I have a lot of articles, several articles written about Better Tool, but I also have an entire course about Better Toast Tool, which you can um, link to in the description notes below there. So it's not a difficult application to use, but the course does get you up to speed and will teach you how to use it and it probably mean takes no more than about an hour to get through the course. Um, it took me a long time though to learn all the different features that are in Better Touch Tool. So basically, I'm gonna this is just an example of all the different gestures and actions that I use in Better Touch Tool. Now I don't use them every day, but um, I use them quite a lot. And uh, I, I you know, I update them regularly. I change sometimes to fit my particular workflow. 
I also create uh, gestures. I've created uh, gestures and actions for individual applications that I use on a regular basis, particularly for, let's go down to Safari here. Okay, so Safari here, I have, um, I have, uh, you know, uh, all kinds of gestures to navigate that. Because my, what my thinking is when I have my hand on the trackpad, I want to be able to trigger certain actions, be able to trigger menu items, uh, be able to trigger um, keyboard shortcuts without having to take my hand back to um, the, the keyboard. So some of the same actions that I have available to me in keyboard shortcuts, I also have available to me in finger gestures. So let's, let me give you an example. Say for example, I want to trigger uh, a keyboard shortcut to do a, uh, a, a, a um, screenshot. So, you know, I just do this here and I get an automatic screenshot. Now, basically the screenshot application that I use is screen float. And I think I did a, 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 um, a, a tutorial, video tutorial on screen float, but I just triggered that a screen float um, key, keyboard shortcut using a three finger swipe up, right? And that just triggered it. And then I just did the screenshot. So that's one way that I do that there. Um, let's go to another one. So for example, let's go to uh, Safari here, for example. And in Safari, say for example, I want to copy the URL um, in this on this page right here. So I just do a three finger click and it selects the URL and copies the URL to the clipboard, right? So let me show you that. Um, that's in global, right? Three finger click, where is it at here? Um, three finger click, where is that at? Oh, that's, I'm sorry, that's in Safari. So let's go back to Safari, all right? And you have a three finger click when the when it's not over the dock or the menu bar. That's another advantage you can have. You can have certain clicks and certain gestures only um, operate when they're over the dock or over the menu bar. But so for this particular one, you see what it does is that it triggers the shortcut Command L, which you know selects whatever's in the um, the URL. Um, bar here or you know there and then it gives a delay all right a little short delay to get there and then it does the command c right to um to do the to the copy the url and then for some reason i have it double clicked i'm not sure why but uh, anyway i had that so what you can do is that you can have it do more than one action uh for a single gesture so which is really cool okay so that's an example of, the, of how that works. And this is a universe. This is works just in Safari, right? Um, so let's go back here. And um, by the way, before I show you some other things, I have a whole category of articles um, of my better touch tool articles on my website, macautomationtips.com. So you can definitely read through those and get uh a lot of different um, information and more about better touch tool before you even you know like you, know, you can you can download the application for a trial right and even before you even consider maybe taking my course you can look at these articles as well and then if you really want to just kind of get in there and really start learning about better touch tool I definitely invite you to check out my course as well so like so when I'm in um, Safari um, I can I can do a five finger tap and you can see that um, I get um, I get to see all my um, tabs that are my open tabs there as well as the um, the the URLs that are open on my other devices as well and that's just a five finger tap there's no reason why I need to go back to my keyboard in order to pre press the, sh the keyboard shortcut when I got them all right here right so I can go back here and do that. Um, 
Also, if I go, let me pull over this uh, here and get rid of this. And that's just pop clip that you saw raised. But let me show you one here. Um, if I do a, if I hold down the um, option command keys on my, on here, and I do a click, would you see what happened there? I did a three finger click while I, hold, I held down the option command key and it pasted the um, URL um, from the from the front most Safari web page, right? Now that again is, let me bring it up. Okay, bring up better touch tool again. And let's move this out the way. And I'm gonna show you that. I think that's a uni that's a universal um, trigger here. All right, so a three finger click. And where is that one at? See, see, and then they're going down. There you go, right here. All right, now what this is is that um, this is a map from this is a, 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 a keyboard shortcut that I created, it's a macro that I created inside of Keyboard Maestro, right? And I assigned it a um, keyboard shortcut. Right now, that macro, what it does is it allows me to um, to to paste the frontmost URL in Safari in any application. All right, so I could use the keyboard shortcut if I wanted to, and and but I don't. What I typically use is the three finger click, and then I just add it um, the option in the command because I use three finger click for so many other things as well. So I added this option and command so that I can use that. I don't use this particular gesture a lot, but when I do, it comes in handy, right? So for a couple other examples, I can also get, I can close tabs just by doing a two finger um, index finger click, you know, so in other words, I, I, I hold down two fingers and then with my index finger, I just tap that and it closes the tabs there. So that's another gesture. So I'm giving you all these different types of gestures to show that basically you can do almost anything um, that you normally do on your Mac. You can do it with some type of gesture. And the the uh, when you when you're in you know Better Touch Tool, it has a lot of predefined uh, actions as well. You can create your own, but also a lot of predefined actions that you can choose from for window interactions, for screenshots, for different types of uh, controlling different applications, which is what I use a lot. You can trigger almost any menu item in any application with a finger gesture. So you see there is a lot going on with Better Touch Tool. And I do really is one of the applications, not just because I... Um, I made a course for, but because I recommend it as one of the first automation applications that you kind of should use. You know, after you've kind of gotten familiar with some of the basic stuff, this is the first one that I suggest you use. Now, there's a lot more I can explain about Better Touch Tool, but you're going to have to look into my article, look into my course, and that kind of, and even just download it and play around with it yourself. So that's the difference between. Um, you know, the better touch tool and Safari's finger gestures. I hope you found this app, uh, this video useful. And if you have any comments and questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do that because I'll be, I'm up, you know, uploading the videos on a regular basis. I definitely will have a video uploaded every Tuesday or Wednesday. So you definitely want to subscribe so you can get reminders. Thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate you stopping by.